Well, joining us live this morning is the president of the Nigeria Football Federation, Amaju Pinnick. Good to have you with us. Yeah, thank you very much. Mm. Now, let's talk about the Nigeria Football Federation. How has the Federation been taking the pandemic? It's a global catastrophe, as you have seen. So, it's not just Nigerian football. We are an affiliate of CAF and FIFA. Mm. And indeed, um, we... The, the, the federal government. So a lot of things we have to take into cognizance uh, while taking decisions. Mm -hmm. um, um, last week Friday, we had an executive committee meeting um, through Zoom, and um, just to look at ways on how to fashion out, uh, not just uh, I'll try to create some kind of remedies, you know, some kind of solutions, you know. And um, first, to emphasize on the leaks, uh, assuming this whole thing come to like an, uh, an, uh, a stop, you know, or it comes down appreciably, uh, then when can they start and end the league? Mm. The ITO Cup, and you know, so we took all those decisions and all the leaks, the media submissions. And uh, we believe um, we're quite emphatic on what we want to do in that area at the end of that meeting. Um, they want to look at um, other areas in terms of salaries of players, yeah. you know. You, and the good news about it is that most clubs are owned by the state government, and they're all um, somehow in the state government uh, nominal list for salaries, uh, so which makes it a lot easier for us, you know. And the ones that are not owned by the government, we we believe that um, we've been able to talk to them and ensuring that uh, they give them uh, what is due to them. They pay them. You know, we interface with oh. those state governments. Oh. Uh, sorry, those club owners. Oh. So um, I, I think um, I think we've been we've, we've been able to handle this whole thing the way we can to, our, to the best of our ability. All right. Uh, let's, let's bring you back home and, and talk about our local league. Now, how do you rate the Nigeria Professional Football League compared to other leagues in the world? You see, you don't compare uh, leagues in Nigeria and just say the league is doing very well, as far as I'm concerned, you know, because we've been entangled in so many crises in and out, so making an atmosphere look very toxic, but we believe some very critical stakeholders, some of our sponsors, they believe in what we are doing. And in spite of that, the league is forging on, uh, and um, we believe we've not gotten to where we want to get to, but we'll definitely get to that point where, where we will look at Nigerian League and appreciate it. You should not, there are so many things to play now, you know. You can't compare Nigerian League with the EPL. You can't compare La Liga to EPL. You can't compare the French Champions League with with uh, with the EPL. You know there are so many leagues you cannot even compare because their following has been there in memorial. Yeah. So these are the traditions we want to sustain and build for Nigeria. You know, some, some football fans and the pundits have said that our local league is not good enough, and that is why uh, most of the local league players do not get a chance to break into the national team. How will you react to this? You, we, you cannot say the local league is not good enough, you know, and the, the, the head of the local league is one of the very well-respected uh, uh, global football personality, you know, just she had just been reappointed into the football stakeholders committee, the member of the CAF interclub committee, and even the IFA, they just appointed him. So you can't say, you see, we, we should tread with caution when we try to um, criticize. We, we believe, we, we are not saying we should not criticize, but it should be more of a common advisory capacity, you know, because whatever you're doing, you're not hurting football, you're not hurting. Nigerian football, you are hurting football. It's so far to, you are hurting uh, the Nigerian economy because we are trying to build a football economy. Mm. 
All right, uh, now still talking about uh, football in Nigeria now and the international scene. Um, over time, we've seen a couple of players who find it difficult to come down to play for Nigeria. And I beg to ask the question, why is it difficult and why did they decide, why did they hesitate to play for Nigeria? The latest one has to be um, the case of Tammy Abraham and uh, Fikayo Tomori. Well, to me, I don't believe that's, that's an issue. You have a choice. It's not just today. <laughs> At the point your passion you refused to play for Nigeria, I was I was still in secondary school, if not primary school. So it's not as if we're all human beings, we are subjected to the various choices that we make, you know. So to me, it's their choice. I I am very close to to Tabi Abraham's father. We grew up together, I've known him for over forty years. Yeah. Well over forty years. So we 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 and I know the history of Tammy and everything, you know. But if at the end of the day he decides to play for England, we just only wish him good luck. Oh. Tomorrow too, we wish him good luck. But when we have people like Desas that was even selected among the era the visit team of the, you know, the season, then I think um, we are happy and we are home. You, you know, prolific goal scorer. And we have we have a seaman that is doing very well. I, I cannot tell you that uh, Tam Abraham is better than Otima. It's not possible, you know. Um, so uh, let's watch and see the future of these players. So we are, we are happy and very contented with what we have right now. The only thing we need to do is to pray, consolidate, and build a very strong Super Eagles that can contest and so, uh, not just for the qualifying round of the World Cup, and also for the World Cup proper, you know, we have a very young team. So, and regarding your issue of Nigerian players not good enough for the, I don't think, if we have a player that is very good, I don't think the coach will not want to succeed. There's no, listen, there's no coach that do not want to succeed. So if they see a player in the league, in, 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 in the professional league, why not? But also look at the situation whereby these players, now go to clubs abroad, then from there, they can come back to Nigeria. If you look at all, most of the players, most of the players now, apart from those ones, you know, that were born in England and all, born abroad, most of them played in, in the league. Oh. They're from here, they went, before they came back. A table, for example, we picked a table as the Warriors the junior team, Sheila's team, then played for Warriors before he, before he sojourned abroad. So you should also commend the league for developing talent, you know, and feeding the world, and they all come back to play. You should also look at that as well. Mm. So it's right. not just jumping from the league into the national team. Yes. Nigerian national team is not, uh, is not, you don't just wake up one morning. There are only 11 players, and there are 200 million Nigerians. Mm. So uh, we only want to, it's like 100 meters. We all break the first wins. We want to only select the best. All right, and not Johnny Gallo playing at Manchester United. Any chance of him coming back to play for the Super Eagles of Nigeria? Gallo loves Nigeria. Oh. He loves Nigeria so, so much. That I know. Oh. He means an Ajegula boy. So uh, mm -hmm. if you grew up in Ajegula, you know the mentality about Ajegula and Nigeria. Oh. Yeah, he loves his country so much. So I believe if he needs to play for Nigeria, if there's need, it will come. Oh. I'm in touch with him. We speak every other week, you know, so he's quite respectful, quite disciplined, quite prayerful. And um, I, the most important thing I've said is that he loves this country. Oh. He loves this country. So it's an advantage for us, oh. you know. But he also wants to give the younger players the opportunity to play like a senior. Oh. You know, look at the young actor coming back strong. Yeah. Then death has, you know, so, but if there is need for him to come, I believe he would definitely come. But we don't have to put him under pressure. We want him to concentrate. Manchester United is not a bed of roses. <laughs> Manchester United, you need to earn your being in that club. So he needs total concentration. Yeah. Yeah. Right. To be in that club. So we want to give him that. Mm. Mm. Thank you very much for your time and for granting us this interview this morning. 
Thank you. All right. Do continue to stay safe. And uh, Nigeria football will surely get back to glory days. That was Amadou Pinnick, uh, the president of the Nigeria Football Federation.